the well sick wow stick. Hey guys, how's it going? Elliot here again, and in today's video, we are going to be looking at something quite odd, something quite strange, something that you wouldn't expect to see on this channel, but is related. I was recently sent this Game Boy from a friend of mine called James. Uh, he has a channel called James Collects. I'll put the link to that in the description. You can go ahead and check that out. Um, I did a little unboxing, guys. So this is a letter that he did. Some toys for you to have, um, to, for you to play with. Have fun. Best regards, James Collects. P.S. Excuse the paper. It's not mine. Don't lie, James. This paper is almost 100% yours, and there's nothing wrong with flowers and butterflies. Okay, so what goodies have we got? So it looks like we've got one item here, another one, and then another one. I was not expecting that. That is interesting. It looks like the screen is in pretty good condition. It's not in too bad, Nick. The uh, battery door has been slightly broken and then just sellotaped shut, but that's fine. As you can imagine, at this point, I have tens of thousands of Game Boy shells, but the contacts don't look dirty at all. And uh, yeah, nice. That's uh, awesome. I always look out for uh, DMGs because you know I can use them for so many different things and uh, apply them to lots of different videos. So there's one cool thing. Thank you very much for that. James, thank you very much for sending me these. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what I can do with both of these. I'm sure I'll get them absolutely fixed up, no problem at all. Um, and I'm gonna look like an absolute hipster in the process. So thank you very much, James. We'll definitely get some use out of this. And uh, yeah, thanks for the parcel. So thank you very much to uh, James for that. It's not in the best shape. And unfortunately, the screen has a couple of horizontal lines, but I will definitely be uh, using this at some point. But this is gonna be uh, a necessity, necessary part of this video. Um, I wasn't sure what to make the video on today, uh, but I know I needed to make a video uh, and also do the giveaway, which I'll be doing at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. Um, but I do a lot of videos on these on the channel, and one of the things that I do is take them apart. So the postal gods cried out to me today and said, hello, and this was left outside my door. So what we're going to be doing is having a look at it. When something arrives in a brown box, it's never usually the best quality uh, indicator. Oh, oh, no, there's another box inside. I take back what I just said. Okay, so uh, let's just assume that this wasn't pre-opened. I hope it wasn't. I am a dual power screwdriver, but I actually think you're a box, mate. But um, okay, here's our tri-wing, that's good. We've got a square bit, a uh, flat head, a hexagonal Allen key, star, whatever that is, a cog. I hope it doesn't come with a cog. I don't think I'm going to have much help with that. Uh, oh yeah, the jewel thing, a couple, a triangle, your Phillips, and the box other than that is pretty empty. It's called the Wow Stick 1P Plus. There's a lot of Chinese writing and all that good stuff. So let's have a look. I assume it opens from the top. Let's take out this fancy knife and do an unnecessarily cool flick and cut it open. This totally feels like something which Big Clive would review on his channel. Uh, come on, autofocus. Bear with me, please. Bear with me. Let's have a look. Oh, we got some more. Oh! Oh, now I do like that. That's very fancy. Uh, okay. Very nice. Modular design. Okay, I'm going to zoom this camera back out before the autofocus actually dies on me. Okay, so we've got a completely useless manual, which everything is in. Chinese or, or Hong Kong hieroglyphics, who knows? Nothing else in the box. And then we are left with three boxes. I'm a tools bag. I'm a dual power screwdriver. I'm a bits group with one hashtag, two hashtag, three hashtag. Right, let's uh, have a look at what this is then. So this is the bits group. Wow. Okay, so that is very, very interesting. We've got... Um, these kind of three tubes here with what I assume is just all the different bits. That's not the best design choice to me because that means if I wanted one, I'm gonna to have to take them all out, try and find the one that I want and then put it back. Um, but I guess it's not too bad and it's also a standard size. So I have got another um, green screwdriver set, which I'll get in a minute. Um, and then yeah, so we'll be able to use the bits from that if needs be. Let's have a look at the tools bag. I am a tools bag. You're a tool bag, which is hard to get out. Oh my God, this is very difficult. There we go. 
very nice qua oh no actually uh not bad quality feels a little bit kind of free glasses bag kind of from a pound world glasses but this goes in here comsa and now i am a dual power screwdriver and here is the moment we've all been waiting for the wow stick wow stick um, okay, so this is where the cap comes off for some batterages. We'll pop a couple in there. Oh, it's a tight fit. Oh no, this must need triple A's. Oh, well, I didn't plan that. Okay. All right, so I've now got some batteries in it. Uh, the first ones that I put in didn't work, so that might be an indicator that if this is even remotely low on battery, it won't have sufficient power. But if I now press these buttons, you can see it turns. Now, this is a very, very thin form factor. Like this is probably about the size, a little bit thicker than a AA battery. So you imagine having uh, maybe four AA batteries, three AA batteries. If you look at that, that is the size that we're kind of dealing with here. So it's not really like pen size, um, but it's certainly quite portable. I mean, if you, if you just look at that, that's very, very small little design. Um, I should mention that there are quite a few different ones of these, and I'll, link, I'll leave the link to the one specific one that I got in the description so that people can't fault me for giving them the wrong thing that I didn't review. But there are so, there are so, there also are rechargeable ones which come with like a little dock. Um, I think this was about £20, maybe a little bit less. I'll put the price up on the screen. And uh, if it works, then it will massively reduce the amount of tools that I uh, that I need because this box is nice, but it just half of these I don't even use. There's loads of ones that I don't need. Um, like what on earth is that? Um, and I know there's there's going to be one of those in here because we saw on the box before. But some of these I just don't need, especially for taking apart a Game Boy. You don't need um, tools like like this to to be doing that. Um, this screwdriver set has done me very well though, and it was only about ten pounds. And I leave the link to the bottom. To this one in the description all the time um, and this one's quite a nice one it's really really cheap but it uh, works very nicely so let's take our Game Boy and see if this works and also let's have a look at the quality of the bits that's probably what I'm more interested in let's see if I can spot a tri-wing screwdriver uh, I'm gonna guess it's probably either this one here Yep, there it is. Okay, so I was worried before about how long that was gonna take me to do, but actually, conveniently, the one that I needed was right there. So these tubes are a little bit finicky, I would say. It's probably not gonna be your quickest, most efficient way of getting tools out, but if you just wanted to take a nice little screwdriver with you on the job, then this is probably quite nice. The bits feel nice and high quality, and it looks like it's gonna be um, strong enough. Let's Let's have a look. If you kind of start it off as you would a normal screwdriver, probably probably needs a little bit of turning assistance. Maybe a little bit more. I, I really do think these batteries are, are flat, actually. This is a really bad review. But then after that, hey presto! God, this is the most unnecessary thing. <laughs> what am I doing? Hey, okay, not bad. Right, let's uh, put it back in and see if this is um, efficient. I think these batteries are absolutely toast. I'm sorry that I didn't have different batteries to show you, but the wow stick certainly has somewhat wowed me. Although, guys, oh my God, hang on. Oh, yeah, I, I really think I should get better batteries, but I just don't have any. I'd have to go down to the shop and that make this video very awkward. The wow stick is cool. You guys are gonna see this a lot more in my future videos. I, I'm pretty certain it's got more torque than that because otherwise, what kind of thing can you use this for? Like plastic? No, this is plastic. Okay, I'm not sure why it's... Uh, <laughs> it must be the batteries. Please be the batteries. <laughs> okay, well, let's just put that to the side and roll on with the giveaway.
So the first prize we're going to be giving away is the Cool Baby BitBoy knockoff. It's a really, really nice little console. I've done a video on it. I'll uh, sign the back if you guys, um, well, I'll sign the back anyway. And all I'm going to do is send you a message on YouTube and then you just have to resp respond with your address and uh, we'll send it out to you absolutely sorted. So you will see I've got the random comment picker up on my screen on my phone. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and press start. There's 420 different unique commenters. Um, so let's go ahead and start. A little bit of a disclaimer. If any of these comments are kind of rude comments or not very nice comments, then I'm not going to pick that person. So start. So the winner is Rich31681. And he said, thanks for the review. So thank you very much, Rich31681. I will send you a message and uh, have that thing sent out to you. The final prize is going to be the cool baby fake Game Boy LCD thing. And quite frankly, whoever wins this, I do feel sorry for you. But that was the prize. So let's go ahead and find out who the final winner is. The winner is Jamie Barrows. So which of these types of systems provide the best build? Uh, and then a link to something. So well done to Jamie Barrows. Thank you very much for everyone who watched this video and thank you to everybody who watched the video of the giveaway. That video has like 220,000 views, insane. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next video, peace. Please focus. Peace.